Hello everybody and welcome to another video on x -Fawn. Today we're going to be talking about the new economy brought in by Tides of Avarice, which is the Scrap Economy. We're going to do things slightly in reverse because we have a prime opportunity here to show the Scrap System in progress when we're out and about. Because there's only one system that we know of that has a raw Scrap resource. Everything else has to be done within you know, whatever it is you're doing whilst you're out and about doing some combat. So in front of me is a wreck. Processable words gives you a raw scrap amount of 4,358 scrap. That needs to be broken down by a specific ship, which is only available to the new faction, which is the Tuta, which is currently on its way to our scrap. But let's have a look at it in the shipyard. So if we head over to the Riptide Rakers, which is one of the new factions, you can see the Tuta in all of its glory. It is a compactor. Basically, it takes in raw pro, uh, raw scrap via construction drones and deploys something that our tugs can take and basically take to a raw processing plant and get materials for. Uh, this is one of the only ways that one of the systems actually generates stuff early on uh, because they, they struggle to get raw resources now obviously with the gates opening and stuff like that it's a little bit easier for them but storyline progress is basically they re-scrapped everything and built ships that you see it's a pretty cool ship if we set it on a hired preset you can actually see it's got some good stats but its main purpose is to basically give us the scrap it has defense turrets it has got uh, five i think you get five in total at the moment i've got it using argon weaponry because that's what's available to me it's a large ship so it's currently on its way to where I am, which is in Anomazura. You can see he's there. So he's going to go over to this defense platform that I've built. Uh, sorry, that I've built, that I've destroyed, along with the Talade. And then we need a Manticore, which is a tug. All right, let's have a check of the Manticore whilst our tutor gets there. So the Manticore, which is available, I believe, in other factions, but mainly in the Riptides again, is a medium ship. A Manticore Tug. It's got a lot of engines on it. It's pretty quick for anything. It's got five engines on it. Um, it, it. It is only a basic ship, really, but all it is designed to do is Tug. It's got a Scrap Tractor. That Scrap Tractor is at the back. So it'll pull along any scrap that you get and takes it to a scrap processing plant. That's basically all it does. They're cool though. They look awesome. I like the look of them. Proper workhorse. Like these little frames and stuff like that. Pretty sweet. There we go. So that is the Manticore. So once this gets into position... It will start doing its business, which we'll see. I'm um, in my little ship here, so we can have a look at it. Um, I do believe these only last for so long. Either they get broken down by the AI, or they may just degenerate after a time. Uh, large ships also are included as well. So if you destroy large and extra large ships, you can break them down because they become wrecks. And then you can do the same thing again. Get a Manticore to, to tuck it over to a processing plant, and the processing plant then turns into useful resources Hull parts and claytronics. So we'll have a look at the hull parts and claytronics once we've got ourselves a scrap block. So let's fast forward to when he decides to finally turn up. Okay, so our tutor has arrived. You can see our construction drones are flying around the station. It gives like the, well, it's like the construction animation in reverse. You see it flies around and they start deconstructing the station and then they'll return back to the tutor and the tutor will drop a scrap block hopefully for us oh, four three five eight scrap there is possible amounts there so let's see how it does shall we you can see them working away there oh some of them are starting to return back to the tutor now still not got any of it actually processed there we go there's a scrap block so now that that scrap block is available, we bring our HUD back. We'll see the scrap block actually on the map, scrap cube. So we can now get our Manticore to go collect salvage. And unfortunately, we are quite a ways away. So it's going to take us some time. 
We can head over to Avaris, or we can head over to one of the new sectors, because they're generally in the new sectors. So there's ice, ice, granite, medical. It may be just in Avaris, but I know I've seen some about. Ice farm. Scrap processing plant. We could trade with. Uh, we do not have... Has it collected it? Oh, you're still collecting. Okay, we'll just wait for it to collect the scrap cube. And then we'll have it fly over here. Where are you going? Come on. Let's get up close and see what it's doing. There you go. So it gets its little... Its little... Tug. So it's little tractor beam. Which, if you ask me, looks like the Borg tractor beam. And off it goes. And then that cube will get pulled away. Meow. Off it goes. Now, obviously, this is a very useful when it comes to trying to do it over long distances, which is what we're currently at, because that cube will probably never make it. However, if you're on a combat front, you can quite easily deliver salvage. There we go. It's got the option now. So let's just remove that. Remove that order. Deliver salvage. So it'll deliver it to the scrap processing factory for us. Obviously, long distance is not convenient for us. But if you're fighting on a the front, then you can build yourself a scrap processing plant and get a lot of resources. And then you can either choose to keep the station there or you can build a new station ahead of you and keep that one for, you know, whatever resources might be appearing. Or you can scrap it down, recycle the resources into the new station. So there's plenty of options. There is a sector, which is the Windfall for aurora's dream which actually has natural resource raw scrap so you can build stations in there which will give you the option to process scrap on a regular basis so no need to tug it for miles and miles and miles you can just go ahead and um you know build a station in there and get your tugs to keep going back and forth and picking stuff up but uh, we'll let that that tug now make his way you can see it's going to be some time it's quite slow when he's tugging it uh, this is going to keep processing until that's been broken down. Uh, I don't think it tells me from the map. It doesn't tell me from the map how much is there, but obviously we can have a look here. Has it given an update? Let's just deselect and reset. Building drone xenon defense platform. There we go. So 638 left. So it's almost broken down. So it's it's got a few cubes. The other thing as well is is we could actually allow you know the AI to take that as well. There is unknown object K. There is also a K though with a hell of a lot more um, re you know, worth, um, real scrap even, because that was a full ship. This was only a part build station that they took out. So can we actually Data. manually set this to scrap it? Now, on the map, you're supposed to be able to select. However, personally, I haven't been able to at this stage. And if that changes, I will update. Now, there has been a hot fix since I started doing the guide, so I'm just going to go ahead and let's see if we can... If we select the man, the tutor. So, there they are. You can see that we can't actually tell it to do anything with it. So, let's see if we can manually set it to... There we go. Uh, Hello there. Gunnery control. Hello there. I've gone the wrong way. Here we go. Sorry, I'm busy right now. So as you can see, whilst it's busy, you can't actually take control. So it's more than likely that the AI is going to be the only one to do it. Now, the option we can do, once you've leveled this ship up a little bit more, you will have the option to auto salvage, which means it will go around and it will auto salvage these large ships. Now, I've spoken about being able to do it, and apparently you are able to do it from the map, but it doesn't allow me. As you can see, 
it doesn't come up in here either. So there's no way for me to actually physically set it to do it. So just bear that in mind. But they are salvageable once you have the auto salvage. Which is obviously a two star, so it's a little bit further advanced. If we place it nearby, we may be able to set it with the loadout. Nope, they're also automatic as well, so no. So there's no way we can do it. So until they fix that, unfortunately, at this stage, all we're going to get is the stations. However, that now leads us to our next part, which is going to be the actual economy of it. Because there's a, there's a lot of things that we can do with it. And, I mean, I, I'm, I'm down for salvaging stations, which didn't cost me a penny to build in the first place. And I like destroying stations as well. And the AI hey. like, like building stations. So, hello there. Let's head on over to the salvage yard and see what it is that we can, uh, can do with it. And we have made it to the scrap processing factory. Now, before we start, I am in an avarice system. If you are starting the game, do not build in the avarice system until you have progressed through the story and learnt about the consequences of the tide. Otherwise, your stations will be ripped apart. Without further ado, let's talk about the scrap processing, though. So let's have a look at a logical overview of our new economy from scrap. Scrap processing takes massive amounts of energy. It takes huge amounts. So you're going to need a lot of energy cells. You then get the raw scrap from the scrap cubes or from, obviously, the scrap that's available in that sector that I showed. And between the two, this is how it goes. So the energy cells in the raw scrap are turned into scrap metal. Scrap metal is a resource you can trade. It's a solid resource. So again, it's another sim. This is processing type. This is solid type. So this is like your ore. And then this is your final production, which is your container. So from scrap metal and another lot of energy cells, we gain claytronics and whole parts, which are arguably the two more important components within the sector electronics whole parts and energy cells are the three components you need to build any station without weaponry systems weaponry systems obviously include things like weapon components shield components for shields turret components for turrets and obviously missile components for missiles however the three most important things right now are energy cells electronics and whole parts and are always in demand new stations upgrades new ships everything requires these components so therefore, we require them both. Now, the way this works is you will get a piece of raw scrap going through into scrap metal. When there is enough scrap metal to start the process, you will get one of the two being produced. One system of production, which I'll show you the components for, will produce only one of the two at any one time. So if you have two processing plants, one will be electronics and one could be whole parts. Now... Every time I've tried to do it, it's usually done two hull parts, then two claytronics, two hull parts, and two claytronics. Now, I don't know if that's just because it's how it sets it or whether it has to do one or the other. But just know that it doesn't mean it's going to do both. It's only going to do one or the other. When one's in operation, the other one is no longer in operation. So, let's have a look at the actual station itself. So, I'm going to head and get up, and hopefully, I can get a good angle on it cannot so Hello. let's just jump out that we're now on the station there we go now we get a good angle of our station there we go so this system has massive amounts of sun storage uh, sorry sun production energy production from the sun so naturally you would build energy solar panels this then is connected to a shield emitter and i'm not going to go into that because that may spoil something for you this is all habitats and you dock this is storage and docking as you can see this is a scrap processing which gives us the raw metal so scrap goes into here there'll then be a big like no entry sign above it so your chips can't drop into Eosoft it would like to thank you for buying their product and then the final piece is this piece that's attached to it, the big tall piece here. This piece here is what builds your hull parts and claytronics. So you can see it's given us an option of hull parts and claytronics, but only one module. 
that one module will only do one at once. Just bear that in mind. It's not two things at once. And then we've got another storage here. That's a large storage by the looks of it, or medium storage. Pretty cool. But yeah, basically that's the components you require in Tides of Avarice. If you're doing it in any other sector, like Windfall, you don't require this component here. Everything else you pretty much need to be able to build scrap. And obviously from scrap, we can now make plenty of money with whole parts, because whole parts is obviously one thing that we've already discussed in our regular economy. So I hope that's helped you if you are interested in starting the new scrap processing. My suggestion is that if you're going to do scrap processing, get yourself in Windfall 4 Aurora's Dream. There's hardly anything at the moment. Get yourself set up in there with a nice little, a nice little uh, station which has your basic components. Build an energy cell production out of Windfall because Windfall has no sun. 13% sunlight. However, you got a connection to Black Hole Sun, which does 100% sunlight. Drop a station in there, which just produces energy cells. Have them energy cells sell to the AI and to yourself. Please check your cargo is secured before departure. You can then choose to have it either by doing a repeat orders on one of your ships to keep going back and forth to your station, or have the station just have uh, trading ships, then hopefully it will collect the energy cells. They usually are pretty good with energy cells, so I won't worry too much. From that, you will get electronics and whole parts. Sell them as much as you can to all of the stations. So you can set yourself up with some long-range trading routes to these here, you know, over to the Ministry, to Lardy. You can push yourself out beyond with them components and build your reputation. And that is exactly how you're going to get more and more blueprints and more and more credits. Hopefully that's helped you with the scrap processing and the scrap economy. We'll see our ship is somewhere around. I don't know where it is. Manticore. I think it's currently waiting for a signal. It is. Where are you? There you are. And as you can see, it's still got its little scrap cube. So it can go through the gates, no problems. It can go, you know, it can get its way to our scrap processing. And it can drop that in and it'll process scrap. And there we have it. That is basically scrap processing in a nutshell. I hope that's helped you understand a little bit more about the economy. And if you didn't realize it was there, this is in Tides of Avarice only. If you're running a game that is less than Tides of Avarice, you still get Dear access. Visitors, we are experiencing some minor surges in our power grid. Please excuse any inconveniences. You still get access to scrap processing because that is a part of the other factions as well you just don't get access to windfall 4 aurora's dream which makes it a hell of a lot easier in processing so you can still get some scrap but you're more than likely going to be able to trade it with other people and stuff like that there, there is a way you could do it but it's nowhere near as easy if you haven't got tides of avarice so i hope that's cleared that up hopefully this has helped you understand it as a nutshell there is plenty more economy to talk through which i'm not going to cover today there's obviously the tides uh, sorry the cradle of humanity stuff that we haven't talked about there's little nitpicks about things with other factions as well and we're also going to talk about things to do with workforce and prioritizing certain things and basically improving certain things but we're not going to go through with that at the moment that's more advanced stuff but we will cover it later down the line if you've got any questions, comments, or anything like that, as always, leave them in the comment section below. Drop a message in the Discord if you want to get further help or if it's something that's a little bit more specific. And always, thank you very much for all your support through the guide, and I hope I can bring more to you that is going to help. Until next time, everybody, take care for now, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.